Hi guys, so today we're over at A Niche in Time, and I'm going to introduce you now to Kathleen. Say hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so you were saying that you and Greg have known each other and been here for... We've been here in this store going on 17 years in December. Oh, wow. And then we started out at another shop up on the other side of town, right across the street from Sam Houston, mm -hmm. and we were there for 12. Yeah. So how great. Right. <laughs> that was when I started with my shelf of Avon and, and plastic cabinets. And it was so oh fun. My gosh. We had good times over there. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we're going to take a look at their store here and see what kind of neat goodies they have for y'all. I'm excited. 16 dealers here at Niche in Time. Go ahead, y'all start the antique show yeah, together. Yeah, we started the antique show together, and uh, we've just been in business together for a long time. A long, long time. Actually, when we first got this building over here, we were still over at the other building. Oh, wow. And Frederick and Greg, myself and my husband, got in here and just worked like crazy, putting up all that pegboard, cleaning the floors doing whatever we had to do to get it ready to open. Making our booth a little larger than what it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all did that, you know, we all did that. We had, we had the space then to do that, and we did. And we weren't barely open, oh my gosh, we were open. We opened in December with about six of us, and then at the end of February, March 1st, the entire building was filled up. Oh wow, that's pretty quick. And then we went to dinner one night, and Frederick started talking about we need to do this and we need to do that. And the next thing you know, he's got a poster for an antique show. And Is this the Rusty Ch Chippy Show? The, no, the Huntsville Antique Show. The Huntsville so, Antique Show, the, okay. Rusty Chippy came what, later. Later, 10 years later? Yeah, 10, it, was, it was a Frederick thing too, but yeah. we started out with all antique shows. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, and, wow. And the idea behind it was just to get bodies into town to say, hey, we have antique stores here. And exactly. Yeah. We have some great stuff up here. And I'll, I'll be honest, I, you know, as antiquers, I guess, dealers, we travel and go around a lot. And Huntsville has such an eclectic assortment of dealers. Mm -hmm. So our things are widespread. They're widespread. It, it really is. And, uh, Every to me, it has is. a different eye, and they see different things. And, and it's almost untouched up here. Mm -hmm. So y'all come on up. Come visit us. Oh, this one right here? Mm -hmm. We're going to take a look at some of Gregory and Frederick's booze here. <coughs> one of your favorite oh. pieces in here. <laughs> okay, here I can talk about this. So can you okay. see yeah. in here? Yeah. Okay. So, um, Basically, I started in the business because I was out looking for things that I collected and one of my personal collections is toothbrush holders. So these figurines up against the right hand side of this case were all made to hold little kids toothbrushes. So in the 20s, 30s and 40s, you would go to the dime store and buy a particular little item to hold the child's toothbrush and then encourage them to brush their teeth. So. Uh, these are all duplicates from my collection, so I have about 200 different oh, ones at home. Goodness. But uh, you can tell a toothbrush holder from a, just a plain vase usually because it has a, a square hole instead of a round one. So anyway, that and cool. just like lots of little things for some reason. I don't know why. You like but smalls. That's true. That's true. So these are Beatrix Potter figurines made by Royal Dalton. They're English. And uh, we used to have a lot of collectors, but people are aging out of it now. There's a lot more <coughs> decorator things, but yeah. there's still people who look for individual items that they just can't live without. I love a little of everything. And some of the newer pe people that are coming in, you're right, they are more decorative in nature. and but. Oh, this Booth belongs to the Blue Six, and they used to be dealers at Round Top. They have a lot of folk art and primitives, uh, Mexican jewelry, silver. That's, That's what they specialize in. Wow. And here are more of my things. So uh, we were buying a lot of ironstone for a while. Mm. Ooh, I love. 
This is a big typeface when I they used to that. have uh, individual typesets at the newspaper. So that's beautiful. And it's still full of a lot of the original type that came with it. So. You got a really good price on this. Okay, guys, head on up. That's a beautiful piece. Oh, and of special interest is uh, folks in the country may need them a pig castrator, so we can fix you up with that. <laughs> what? Okay, explain. So, uh, explain now. So the pig's head would go in here, and it, you'd basically be able to hold the pig while you did the dirty deed to it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, guys, I know you've been looking for one, and here you go. <laughs> right off 11th Street. <laughs> oh, I like those lamps you got way up there. Those are pretty. Are they transparent? or? Yeah, it's, a, it's a red glass. Okay, I can't but, quite yeah, tell if it's a ceramic. Or... 60s kind of, they were doing the... Spanish revival kind of mm -hmm. thing. Really neat stuff. Let's go see what's next. Have some stife German mohair animals. Just an eclectic assortment, all kinds of stuff in here. I was telling Kathleen earlier that if you need a small occasional table that's not in perfect shape, then I can fix you up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to do this video with you for a little while now. I'm so glad we got to come in and to get this done. He's got some really neat stuff. So not only does um, Gregory and Frederick have booze over here at Niche in Time off 11th Street, uh, he also has some of the booths over at the um, Sam Houston Antique Mall where I'm at. And I've already showed you uh, in glancing going around some of those booths. He's got some really neat stuff. I love, I love those large furniture pieces, um, cabinets oh, that you had just pieces. brought in. Yeah, they're, they're, now they were stamped nice on the back, a real famous town here in um, in Texas, uh, Stamp Schulenburg. From Schulenburg. Right. And one, one of them is a zinc top store counter. That is incredible. A cover. These guys, I'm going to um, probably fit those in in the next uh, video that I do over at the Sam Houston Antique Mall tomorrow. And I will be sure and capture those so that you know what I'm talking about. Up on top of the cabinet over here, mm -hmm. those are all Aladdin lamps. And it was a Ooh. glass company. And for some reason, Aladdin made lamps and they made lunch boxes. So all of the character lunch boxes like the first Roy Rogers lunch box. Wow. Uh, Hopalong Cassidy and then all the lunch boxes from the seventies were made by Aladdin. Well I know their kerosene lamps are in same company. Right. Incredibly same company. pricey. Yeah, I wouldn't for sure if it was the it's, same it is, yeah. Yeah, it's just oh. interesting that That one right here is beautiful. It's like a Roses. Oh, it's roses and the color is going to be kind of like, um, it's not quite, what's that real light pink? Kind of a peach. Peach. Is that the peach. One you're yeah, it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I could see a lot of people wanting to come up and pick just that up, right guys? And uh, All right. some of the lamps had the original finials that went with them. There were, there had matching glass finials that went on top. And That's hard to find. to find. So. Yes. Really cute stuff. Let's take a look at some of these other other uh, booths we have in here. So you were saying this was your sis this is your sister's booth? Yes. Ooh, She's been in here good. since day one too. Beautiful. She beautiful. was also at the other shop with us, and she has a eclectic mix sure of everything: jewelry, china. She likes. Uh, she likes little kids stuff, little children's things. She has some. But of that, that is really the popular, especially mm -hmm. in, in decorating young moms and And we have a mama that just loves to go and find stuff for sister to put in her booth. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah. Dewey now. Mom goes out collecting too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she used to have a booth too, but she doesn't oh. do that anymore. So she's well, some of the guys. This is also hers. She's got two big wide booths here, all the way. Really nice. Really hope I'm panning over things long enough but quick enough where they can be picked up. Oh, pretty. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful yeah, china piece. cabinet. Oh my goodness. This lady knows how to build up. This is Belle's booth. She knows how to build it up. Very nice. And she has a lot of dishes, china. Oh, she has some beautiful flow blue in here. Mm -hmm. Blue willow. Very nice. Skin y'all over here. One of the dealers in here lives in Waco. The other one lives in town. They do a combo together. And they have lots of girly things. Yeah, they do. Art glass. And poly, and poly vase. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like some of her jewelry. Got a lot of jewelry collectors, me being one of them. <laughs> some really nice pieces here. Really beautiful colored glass. Beautiful colored glass. I have to say, from all the prices I've been seeing, Worth the drive for y'all to come up and take a look. Definitely. Some of the stuff is so pretty. And he's from Marlin. This dealer's from Marlin. Oh, okay. Got some really pretty pieces back here. Can you see this? Okay. He usually has more oak pieces. Uh, He's been out a little bit, so he's in the process of healing and getting back in. So. Well, I wish him a very speedy recovery. It's a very beautiful cameo set. Very pretty. I'm not really sure, Greg. That's okay. Uh, we were looking at it. Somebody pulled it out and looked at it the other day. It's old. And he was wondering what that was, too. Looks like for pulling nails uh -huh. or... Yeah. Yeah. It's really neat old piece, though. You just never know what you're going to find. Well, they don't have what the, 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 the real antique feel or the this. A lot of it. They're inquiring. And that I'm trying to stay with the... As Older the customer type. has gotten younger, yeah, their perception of what is old is different than it, what our it, perception it is. of what is yeah, old is. Yeah, that's very so, true. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I can understand. To, I know this. You have to realize that something from the 80s. I know. I can't even. I still have a. You know, I'm like really. A block. <laughs> I still have shoes from the 80s. <laughs> They're new. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, goodness. But I tell you, being right here by the um, the college, I love seeing the kids coming into the stores. I love that. They do come in. They, they like hunting stuff for their dorms and their rooms. They and, do. And they bring uh, their parents. Y'all keep they bringing bring their parents them. down here. It seems like they like old technology, like typewriters and cameras. They, I was fixing to say like do. That. Cameras and typewriters, yes. They do. I've sold, yes. They do like the millennials. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all keep it up. And I guess the new generation's Gen Wires now. So y'all keep it up. I want to thank you guys for walking us around here today. Got some thank you for coming in. Yeah, thanks oh, a lot. Really nice pieces. Some McCoy in here. So niche in time, y'all please venture out. We're all, 
Go ahead. On the square, downtown Huntsville. Yep, right on the square. Everybody's open. We're trying to get life back to normal. We would love to see you up here visiting our establishments. And we have some wonderful restaurants, too. So we'll talk to y'all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.